Racing. Pretty Precious came out a bit gingerly, so too did Lavender Bay. Strata, one of the first to break with Whispering Angel towards the inside. Also getting away nicely, but Strata a little bit quicker at the moment. Then comes F8 in the middle of the course, racing about two lengths off the leader. Sophia Ray's in and amongst horses. Then comes Charlene at the outside, about two lengths off the leader. Still in the Thunder was further back with Gusto Girl. Then comes Cosmic Energy, Lavender Bays, racing about six lanes adrift in the Indigo Sleeves and Cap. Then comes Pretty Precious, who races towards the outside of that midfield group. Silver Flare, Yellow Sleeves and Cap, simply beautiful. Trey Sheik is off the bridle being persuaded along and got some work to do with 500 metres left to run and F8 came striding into the lead over Strata in second. Then comes Charlene who races away in third. Lavender Bay, they were further back then. Whispering Angel up towards the far side. Stealing the thunder. Trey Sheik now tries to get a wriggle on. Still got six to make up with Pretty Precious at the outside at the 200 metres mark and Strata attacks F8. Then comes Charlene. Trey Sheik from last now tries to find a finish and winding up to these leaders and Trey Sheik, after looking in trouble in the early throws of the race, has come finishing with a wet sail. Trey Sheik, the winner. Second, probably goes to Charlene. F8 and Strata involved in a photo in behind. So the winner races in between horses and the Aquamarine, still looking for a way through. She was dead lost at the 600 metres mark, but she's found her way. She's found her feet with 600 metres left to run, but she still had the whole field to pick off. She was off the bridle. JP Funamav has earned his riding fee on Trey Sheik, but she's put it all together when she had to, and she's motored home to win race number one. Race two will start today's bipod that gets underway at quarter to one. Here we are with uh, JP. JP, obviously at one point we thought that uh, you could be in trouble there. Yeah, 100%. Um Philly broke super smartly, I was very happy with that and then as I left her alone she completely like um, never the pace to go with him and then I was like under pressure from very early on and then I just kept on working on her like not going all out but just like kept on working on her, didn't want to get too far back even though I was a little bit too far on my ground but um, I just couldn't get her to travel and then um, the further the race got on the, the more she started grabbing the bit and going on with it and um, Eventually, when she did come to the party, she won a good race. She actually finished the race off really well, and uh, I think most of the people here, their hearts were in their mouths if they were backing her, because there was, I, don't think, I think you were the last horse. Yeah, um, same here. I thought it was my best for the day, and then yeah, she dropped a bit on me from, like the, I think, 1,100, and I was like, it's going to be a long day. But um, as she grabbed a bit and went on with it again, she won a good race. I definitely think um, for a long or two more, she'll enjoy it. Another one in the tank for her? Uh, yeah, 100%. Um, I think the further we go, um, she'll enjoy it as well. And um, It felt like this filly took a while to break her maiden, but uh, it feels like she's progressing. And she's building into a nice, strong filly. Um, I do think when we go to the trip, she'll still win a couple. Great start to the day for you. Well done. Just a big thank you to the old Snake team. Greg, Gina, my sponsor, Brashen Ognias. Big thank you. Great stuff. That was JP van der Thank you very much, uh, Grant. Uh, good feedback from JP in relation to Trey Sheik and Justin Snaith. I'm sure you were pleased um, having her back down the straight. She seemed to enjoy unwinding her race. You're echoing. <laughs> we are echoing. <laughs> so that everyone gets the drift a few times. Donovan. Um, very happy with this win because she deserves it. She's um, been very unlucky. Last time she couldn't get a run. Um, and uh, just really well, well done to Leon Elman in the in the US, to Greg, Gina, really well done. It's a filly that deserved this. Do you think that she will go on for you? JP touched on that she might want a bit further. I've been told to now put her over further. I've got brilliant assistant trainers. One over there. I've got Etienne Braun, Jonathan Block now. And uh, yeah, so I've got the best, I've got better assistance than any train in the country. So I've been told to put it over further. Well, all the best. We'll keep an eye and see who's going to come out tops and who's right. <laughs> I'm just, I'm an employee, employee in this group. Thanks. <laughs> well done, Justin. Next up, we're going to have Greena, uh, Greg and Gina come across. And uh, Greg, I'll start with you. You're closest to me. Well done for the win. Thanks, Fix. Watching the two horses in front, they almost didn't want to go past each other and your filly was just hollering from the back and she sort of enjoyed the last bit of the race, which is nice to see. 
Yeah, I thought she had lost it. I thought she was out of it and she sort of dug her heels in, but big credit to JP. You know, he's riding a lot of horses for us now and uh, it's great to, to break the duck. Indeed, and uh, as MJ spoke to him in the, in the parade ring, he's going to be doing the move here, so that's something to look forward to. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, him and, and his wife and baby have moved down and I'm sure he'll be an absolute asset to racing in our province. Well done for the win. Thank you. And then Gina, always lovely to see when these horses come to the fore. And she's sort of been hovering about and teasing you a little bit for the win, but thankfully today she did the job. Yeah, absolutely. Um, loved her at the sale. <laughs> so uh, we thought she would probably be a little bit more ahead than where she is. But um, she ran a great race. She's an honest horse and always tries her best. Flies on at the end. With regards to the tally, I know at one stage it was you had two different groups of buyers and it was a little bit of a competition. Dare I ask where the ratings are? We're both failing miserably. <laughs> You're in the winner's box, it's not going so bad. Oh, not that great either. <laughs> well, well done for the win, I hope that adds to it. Thank you very much. Thanks, Vicks. Well, well done to both uh, Greg and Gina, as well as uh, Leon. Lovely win from the filly and uh, well overdue. Well done to Shadwell Stud for breeding the daughter of giving the green light. Number 10, Trey Sheik. And before I end off there, well done to Sanji. He receives his thousand rand from Hollywood Bets. So thank you very much to them and Cape Racing.